one and all. This is me, Nightmare, and here we are. NFL Picks of the Week. Week 10, the biggest game of the season happens this week. That is the Indianapolis Colts versus the New England Patriots. Woo! It's going to be a wild one, folks, and I cannot wait. I don't know about you. Anyways, as you can see, I'm going to get overwhelmed and excited for this game. Um, I hate the Colts, um, but I hate them in a totally different way, if you can even get that. I hate them because they're good, and they, you know, they compete very well with us, um, and, uh, this has definitely been the best rivalry, in my opinion, uh, in the past, you know, decade, and that's the Patriots and the Colts rivalry. It's more a Tom Brady- Peyton Manning rivalry, um, it really wasn't one before then, um, and it really wasn't, it's probably not going to be one after, uh, they're both gone, um, but it's definitely one with them two in the game every time they play, uh, it's put out on the line, uh, each and every game, um, if you're a Patriots or a Colts fan, you understand, if you're not, you may not feel as joint to this rivalry as me or a Colts fan, but, this is just an awesome, awesome rivalry. Um, you have Brady on one side, arguably the best quarterback in the league, and you have Peyton, arguably the best quarterback in the league, on the other side with the Colts. Um, and not just that, you know, not to overshadow the great players on, uh, you know, the other great players. You have Reggie Wayne on the Colts, um, Joseph Adai on the Colts, um, Dwight Freeney, Bob Sanders. I know some of these guys are hurt and everything like that. Um, but a, a few of these guys have uh, been in a couple of these games, and... Um, as far as on the Patriots side, Randy Moss, this is probably the best Colts um, Patriots game that he's probably going to be in. Uh, as far as like right now, like his first one, he, uh, 07 was a good one um, on their their, their uh, streak to a uh, undefeated regular season. But um, other than that, this could be big for him too. Uh, enough about the players, though. I don't want to get onto that. I don't want to waste all this video on on. Uh, you know, just rambling, but I did want to talk about my thoughts on the video. A lot of people are saying, or on the, the the game, a lot of people are saying that, you know, oh, who's the key to the game? You know, we always, we obviously know that P Tom Brady and Peyton Manning will be there in the end. They're going to be a key factor. Um, I think, I think the key of the game is who has the better day. Um, Record-wise, as far as in the last couple of years, we're 7-4 and four against them. And what I consider the robbery, we are 7-4, and four, um, Technically seven and three because last year Matt Castle was that quarterback. Um, but as far as if you you know his Patriots Colts robbery, it's, we're seven and four as far as the, what I consider the robbery because it started in September of 2001 when Brady played his first game against the Colts uh, coming in for Bledsoe. So that's when I think the robbery started. Obviously here on Wikipedia they have it. You know the robbery has started in '70 and the Patriots are up what 42 to 27. So. That doesn't matter to me. It's what what matters is you know each and every every year that you know Brady and Manning have gone head to head. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to waste too much time on on the game. But I think it's gonna be a great game, and I think that uh, the winner of this game is definitely gonna solidify themselves as the best team in the AFC. Now I know what you're gonna say: the Patriots win, the Colts still only have one loss. Um, but I still think that the winner of this game is gonna solidify themselves at the as at the top of the AFC. Um Colts will have still have one game on us. Um but I still think comparing the game, we have a win over them. All we need is one more loss for them and we have the number one seed. So you know, though obviously as far as rankings still have it, but like I said, this is a this is a huge game. Um you're not gonna get that on the NFC side where I think this I mean I guess if the Saints and Vikings play, if you know please let me know. I don't know if they play. But if the Saints and Vikings play that would probably be the equivalent on their side this season, um, but I don't think they do. But the Patriots play the Colts, obviously, Sunday night, and then we have the uh, New England Saints two weeks from now um, on Monday Night Football. So that's going to be, you know, it's it's not an easy stretch down the line uh, for us, at least for, you know, not for right now. But um, it's going to be a crazy game, and uh, I think it's going to come down to the wire. Uh, a couple games in, our, in this rivalry have been, blowouts, but not a whole lot, um, and they haven't really been blowouts, it's just off, you know, one offense or defense steps up, um, and just, you know, starts lighting it, lighting it up on one side of the ball, uh, the Colts 
have gotten blowouts, have gotten a blowout before. Um, not really. And when I say blowout, I mean 40 to 21. I think is, is what it says right here. Um, I don't remember scores, so I, that's why I have it up here over here. Um, the Colts won 40 to 21 in 2005. Uh, the Patriots won 20 to 3 in a playoff game in 05, which we led went on to win the, win the Super Bowl. So, um, but yeah, other than that, not much more to say. Um, it's already been about what six minutes now. I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to say some some stuff on uh, the video, and I'll probably be, you know repeating myself, but that's just how it goes. I go uncut. That's just how the way I like it. Um, obviously, winner of this game is going to be the Patriots. I'm not going to pick against them. Um, I think it's going to be a great game, though. Like I said, so watch it, be entertained, and um, you're in for a wild one. So there you have it. Um, let's go ahead and go to my picks because there are a couple other things in the games that I want to talk about. So. Let me go ahead and go to my picks um, for the week. Last week I went set seven and six, eight and six, eight and five. I don't know. I'll have it up there in the sidebar. Um, I'll figure it out. Um, I had the Bears Thursday night, and of course, you know, five interceptions later, uh, that's a loss for me. <laughs> um, I don't really know what's up with Jay Cutler, but you know, we don't really have time to discuss that. So 49ers obviously won that game. I'm already down one game. Um, then we have Atlanta, Carolina. I've got the Falcons. Um, the Bucks and the Dolphins. I had the Dolphins. Um, uh, Detroit and Minnesota. Do I really even need to say this? Uh, the Vikings win. <laughs> uh, Jags, Jets. This could actually be close. Um, but hopefully, and I don't, actually I don't care. I'd rather see them lose. But, you know, f hopefully for the Jets fans' sake, uh, the Jets, you know, get back to where they were in the beginning of the season. Um, I don't think they will, but they will win this game. I got the Jets. Uh, Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. Let's go Jerome Simpson, wide receiver from Coastal Carolina. Yes, that's the university I attend, if you guys do not know that. And I hope that they, you know, he's able to, you know, perform in this game and they give him a chance. You know, even if it's one or two receptions, you know, at least he proves himself when he's when the ball's uh, thrown his way. Um, but I, I just don't see Cincinnati going into Pittsburgh and beating them, and I don't see Cincinnati sweeping them. But I also said the same thing. When about Cincinnati over Baltimore, so let's let's see if I'm wrong twice. Let's let's see, you know, let's just see, because I probably will be. Anyways, I've got the the Steelers winning at home. Then we have the Saints at the Rams. Um, Saints easy easily. Then we have Buffalo Tennessee. This one could go tough, but uh, Tennessee looks like they've got their mojo back. I don't know if they've got their like full on mojo, but I mean, anyways, uh, they should win this game against Buffalo especially with all the injuries Buffalo has. Good Lord. And now, of course, NFL.com wants to be all retarded. Okay, here we go. Denver Broncos, Washington Redskins. Un unfortunately, Broncos will win this game. We have Kansas City, Oakland, Battle of the Sucks. And uh, Kansas City will pull this win off uh, just because they will. Um, Seattle, Arizona. Arizona needs this win. Arizona's going to win. Uh, Dallas, Green Bay. I'm going to go with an upset here. I think Dallas is playing better than they were earlier in the season, but I think Green Bay is 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 determined to prove themselves after losing to Tampa Bay. I could be wrong. Dallas could come out and cream them, but I'm gonna go with the wild card here, and I'm and I'm gonna say Green Bay wins this game. You know, sue me for whatever. Philly and San Diego. I don't see Philly coming out in this game and losing. I just don't see it. Um, the Chargers are inconsistent or inconsistent. I can't even talk like you all know. Um, but I just don't see that, the, you know, the Eagles coming out and losing this game after losing a heartbreaker to the uh, Cowboys. Maybe not a heartbreaker, but, you, you know. So I got Philly going on the road and getting a win. Uh, obviously, New England Colts. I have the Colts matchup of the week by far. And then we have the Suckfest um, Monday Night Football. <laughs> it's not really a Suckfest, but we have Baltimore versus the Brady Quinn now. Uh, Cleveland Browns and uh, Ravens win easily. So there are my picks. You had my record from last week in the sidebar. I'm not. I've gone decline. On a decline from from the start. Um, those of you that also watch Big Rat 310, I got him in fantasy. It's on like Donkey Kong. So uh, the nine and zero. I am nine and zero in the uh, what is it called? I forgot what the name of it is. The um YouTube wrestling community fancy football thing. Anyways, it says I have like seven seconds left before ten minutes. So, there you have it. That's my video and I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, one more thing. If you don't have this game, get it! Call it!